Welcome back, Old School, with you here, and we are back with something new. New for me, anyway. N1Z1. It is free on the PlayStation Network at the moment. And, of course, they are ripping off Fortnite like everyone is, which, I guess, technically Fortnite ripped off PUBG, so we can't say too much there. Fortnite's just been the most successful of the Battle Royales, and now everyone and their mother has a Battle Royale. Even Dying Light was supposed to have one. I don't know whatever happened with that. I don't see it in the most recent uh, most recent patch, but whatever. I digress. This one is Battle Royale. I've done a riddle... A, a riddle? A little quick setups and stuff here, so... Uh, not going to play yet. Got to go through some tutorials. But I did customize my figure a little bit. I can tell you my early on disappointments is that you have to wear a lot of this gear. So, for example, you will have to wear a hat even if I don't want to wear one. Um, obviously, you have to wear a shirt. I mean, come on, let's be serious. So you do get to choose a few different ones. And you can unlock others, which I'm sure will come along with loot crates and all that other good stuff. Yeah, you got a couple of different backpacks. That's cool. Footwear, you got a couple of options there as well. Um, it looks like it screwed up the selection I had, though, for the jeans, which was not those, was those. There we go. I kind of just like that look better. It's a girl character, so I just think that's a little bit more complimentary. However, because it's a girl character, I was also hoping that we can lose the mask. Because this one happens to look a lot like Maggie Green from The Walking Dead without the mask on. But I don't see any way to remove the mask, which kind of disappoints me. She's got a good face. Let her have her face. Um, I've tried all the buttons that I can think of. Let me try a couple other things here. Nope. The only thing I didn't do was the left three and the right threes, and those aren't doing anything. Uh, yeah, nothing. So you get stuck with a mask, whether you want one or not. Same thing goes with glasses. She's got good. She's got a good look to her. It's like you're covering it up with all this crap. And, again, no way currently to remove that. I've got a funny feeling they may get some kickback about that and make an option of none, which should just automatically be there. But it's not, at least for the beta. And then you get a couple of flak vests. Um, this one's kind of brutal right here, man. This is, like, fully loaded. <laughs> so by putting the stupid cap on her, though, you lose the hair, which was part of the charm in this character, I thought. And the other two options are no better. So why bother having the character with the hair if you're going to make me have to cover it up and change the whole look of the character? So hopefully they're going to fix that because that right now is just like not something I'm happy about. All right, we're ready to do some tutorials and challenges. So play one round of solos. Okay. Play a round of solos and place within the top 100. Complete all 12 tutorial challenges. Well, what am I going to do? <laughs> so, I'm guessing this has to be a multi multiplayer? Or maybe, hold on, let's go here. Oh, there we go. Okay. So we'll go solo. Yeah, I guess it has to be multiplayer, which sucks if you're just learning a game. That's a pretty badass mask. Backpacks increase the number of guns, grenades, and ammo, and bandages, but, uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, wait, you jumped. Using healing items to recover after a firefight. Use fire first aid kits. Heal more than bandages, but take much longer to apply. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. This makes me realize I have not played Last of Us multiplayer in way too long. I think I might have to do that. We're getting close to June 7th. Oh, look at this. Everybody's naked. Put some clothes on. All right. Well, thus far, all I can do. Oh, what did that just pull up? So it's the left two pulls that up. Although I don't know what the hell it is. You got that little 
thing going on down there in the bottom. Can't do anything with it yet because we're still in the load up screen. Again, this is very reminiscent. Can I jump? Oh, I can jump. Not well, but I can jump. Am I going to get a little axe to break shit up with? Cut down some trees and all that kind of stuff. Look at him chilling out up on the uh, propeller and stuff. Oops, that didn't work well at all. All right, well, we're not getting on top of the propeller. Wasn't for a lack of effort. June 7th rolling around. That's when we'll be able to do some live streaming again here on the YouTube channel. Apparently, you're not allowed to make a single mistake. Otherwise, shabam, 90 days, just like that. No warnings, nothing. See, this character's got long, flowing hair with a helmet on. How come my character gets stuck bald? That's a beta. Well, no jumping out of a bus. You're just flying. So we're in solo. Speaking of solo, Star Wars. Solo, a Star Wars story getting beat up at the box office. Holiday weekend. Somebody's taking that house already, you bastard. Oh, I'm screwed. After a really good start, or what appeared like it was going to be a really good start. How do you run? Okay. After what appeared to be a really good start. Um, do I even have a gun yet? No, of course not. I'm just going to get lit the fuck up. They are now getting their asses handed to them. For Memorial Day weekend release... Han Solo, a Star Wars story, or Sol Solo, a Star Wars story, uh, is not even going to outdo or outgross The Hangover 2 and what they did in their release weekend for the same holiday. What's that? Helmet. Oh, okay, big deal. Use door. Oh, somebody's already got the vehicle. What's this? I need a firearm. Oh, here's a firearm. Okay. I will presume. Your mother wears combat boots. Remember that one? Can you duck? Yes, you can. Yeah, I told you that was going to go bad. All right, 86. I think I just had a place in the top 100, so got that done. And I really took my sensitivity levels down on this thing, but it was still pretty loose. So first impressions of the game, not all that good, to be honest with you. Uh... As expected, it's just a rip-off of PUBG. It's a rip-off of Fortnite. Everyone just joining in, man. Now, I think H1Z1 is going to have its own standalone game, kind of like uh, Fortnite does. No, we're not giving you an email. So, what now? Mm-hmm. All right, let's go back up here. Uh, one more time, sorry. Complete all 12 tutorial channel, blah, blah, blah. Looks like one and two must be done since they're gone. Do we get to see... 
Nope, get out of there. I guess if they're gone, you've done them. It's that simple, because I'm just trying to see if I can see the ones I've accomplished. All right. Use a field bandage. Find a backpack. Complete all 12. Well, we'll see about that. I'm not sure how long I'm going to be playing this game, to be honest with you. It's just I've got enough other games that do the same thing and better. You know, Fortnite's better than this already. No surprise. And quite honestly, for this type of shooter, I would much rather go back to uh, Last of Us. This is not going to make me give up any of the other games that are better. All right, we'll do one more round. Uh, we got duos, we got fives, we got combat training. Well, why don't we do that? So the good news, again, Solo, A Star Wars Story, is really dropping quickly. They've lost over 30% from day one to day two of revenue, which is a huge drop-off. Huge. Um, Kathleen Kennedy, who is right now the Antichrist with everybody who's Star Wars, she is the new, more recently hired producer who's absolutely destroyed the franchise with the last two movies now by trying to make them political statements because she's a cunt. Um... Is probably going to get fired after this one because she took the budget from 125 million to make the movie and doubled it to 255 because she couldn't get her shit together and couldn't get a director to stay. I mean, they went through three directors before they ended up with Ron Howard, and I kind of like Opie, but Star Wars? Um, that's not what I think of when I think of Star Wars. What am I supposed to be doing here exactly, guys? Tell me. Tell me, tell me. Are we in combat now? I mean, is this like actually, you know, trying to shoot people down shit? Okay, well, I shot him down. I don't see that he dropped anything, so I'll presume I didn't get anything. Can I get in this car? Can I steal this car? I'm going to guess that's a stop sign, as in no, you can't. we got some cars over here on the roadway. Let's see if we can make it to one. Is there any duck and roll? No. Seeing, well, there's a vehicle over there. Let's see if we can grab this car. Oop. The police is here. <laughs> oh, where am I being shot from now? Fuckers. He's not dead. Whoopsie. Enter vehicle.
Can we take fences out? Oh, we can. Good to know. Oh, it's the cop. Go get him. Go get the policeman. I don't know if I can shoot his ass in this thing or not, though. Not much in the way of instructions. Oh, shit. What the hell? I think we need to get the hell out of here, man. That's some loud sounding stuff going on up there. Kind of want to find that policeman and see if we can't do something with him. Restart. Why, why did it stop? There goes the cop. Let's see if we can get him. Where'd he go? Now, I just heard somebody cough up here. I don't know if that was on mic or if that was like a character. Yeah, it looks like we have a fuel gauge. I'm not seeing any fuel. Whoops. Come here, bitch. Oh, what? You can't run his ass over? Oh, he's dead already. I was going to say, man, it's a pretty sad day when you can't run somebody over in a vehicle. Too early to exit vehicle. What do you mean too early? I've been, oh, shit. All right. Show me the bastard shooting at me. Whoa, son of a bitch. Where you at? Come here, chicken shit. There you are, bitch. Coming to get you. Frasier. So that's about it. You know, th that's the game in a nutshell. I'm not going to get hung up on this game at all. It's just not as good. You know, it's yeah, it's got vehicles for what that's worth, I guess. Again, this is not going to make me leave better games to play this. And I don't care about their challenges at all. I don't. Yeah, no. And I think the first thing that really just turned me off is the fact that you can't really customize your player. The fact that you're forced to wear all this crap. I think the face is a very important thing in building a character. You know, let, let it be seen and... Just the way I feel about it. Let's, uh... Yeah, give you guys a look at this thing without all the shit on her. Hold on a minute. Yeah. So that's what she looks like, which, again, if you watch Walking Dead, that looks a lot like Maggie to me. Even that kind of does with the shorter hair look. I kind of like Maggie back when she had longer hair. Let's take a look at the guys here, see what we got going on here. Pretty generic. Yeah, Glenn, maybe. Yeah, could be. Hands down, that would be my favorite one right there. But even then, you should be able to change the hair, you know, let her be a blonde or whatever. So you choose the character, and then boom. <laughs> Doesn't look like her anymore, does it? Well, that's probably as much as this game I will ever play. 
But I wanted to throw it out there. You guys have a look at it in case you were thinking about it. Yeah, now you got an idea of what we're all about with this thing. H1Z1, the open beta is out there. It's free of charge. So go ahead and knock around in it a little bit. I just know that I'm not going to spend more time on it than I already have. All right, that's going to wrap it up again. June 7th, we'll be back doing some live streaming stuff. We're going to do some uh, Disney Infinity stuff for sure. Probably going to be do uh, 1.0 and 2.0 because so, I still have play sets that I haven't done anything with because I want to live stream that stuff. So I've been sitting on it forever. And I've never played them, so uh, other than the Lone Ranger playset, which we've done, we're going to be picking that up on the 7th, and God knows what else. i got a bunch of stuff I've been kind of waiting back on. So join us, won't you? All right, guys. In the meantime, I'm going to take off. I ain't got to go home, but i got to get up out of here. Have a great day. See you soon.